Hello, welcome to another scripting tutorial um, in Roblox Studio. So, this tutorial is not going to be a another tools tutorial uh, because there's a couple of things that I want to teach you before I go on to part two, part two of learning about tools. So, um, and t the two things are local scripts and uh, mouse. Yeah, the mouse. Um, so I need to teach you about those two things and then we can begin part two of the tools stuff. Right, so local scripts, let's have a go at it. Go to insert basic object and find local script. Where, where is it? Here we go, local script. Okay, so local script is a script that only works inside your character or your player GUI okay and that's what it is you can do cool things with it like you can get the player by typing player equals game dot players dot local player and that will just get your player this is this only works if this script here local script is inside your character or your player GUI now the best way to get it inside your character is to put it in a tool so go to insert basic objects tool um, just make a handle for it and handle insert it into the tool put the local script inside the tool and say tool equals script dot parent now this isn't a tutorial about tools just because I've got a tool inside it I'm just giving you an example of how to use local scripts and because I haven't taught you about GUIs yet I'm not going to be using it inside a GUI I'm going to be using it inside a tool so Let's go ahead and get a function tool dot equipped or activated. Um, I'm going to say activated. Tool dot activated connect function. Okay, so there is my event, and when it's activated, this event is going to be called. Now, what I want it to do is I want it to set a player variable player equals game dot players dot local player. Okay, so now when I click this um, tool, when I activate the tool, when I click it, it's going to call this event here, and we can now use the player object variable, which is equal to my actual player, because, well, it's a local script, therefore I can get the local player. Now, a local script is also good for using... Um, forgetting the local camera but that will come in a further tutorial when I teach you about uh, camera usage so let's go ahead and try and customize the player so play dot character dot torso dot trans parency equals 0 0.5 okay so we haven't said player equals um, I think I've taught you the get player from character function. If I haven't, then basically character is equal to tool dot parent. And to get the actual player, you'd have to do this player equals game dot players colon get player from character. So it's an inbuilt function, and you just pass in the character. And that's how to get the player from the character that you've got, okay? But because we're using a local script, we don't need to do this. We can just get the player from local player. Okay. So now that we've got the player, um, we're going to get character, the torso, change the transparency by 0 0.5. Let's go ahead and see if that works. So go to tools, uh, start server, then start player. Okay, I'm just going to start a player by pressing Alt F4. And if I open the workspace, I can see that the tool is not in the starter pack. So I need to cut the tool, uh, paste it into the starter pack, and go back to server. and then back to player okay so we've got an error here player is not a value member of data model line tool like line two I said line tool 
Okay. So let's go ahead and see what the error is. Line two, player is not uh here we go. I said player equals game dot player dot local player. It's actually players because the service is called players, not just player. Okay, so there's the mistake. Just add an S onto player. Um so now player equals game dot players dot local player. Go back to your server. And start player. Yeah, if the quality of the videos um, that I'm doing like worsens a bit, then uh, don't worry about that. It's just because I'm trying to play around, play around with the quality so that the video uploads faster for me. So at the moment, it just takes hours for videos to upload. But if I make the quality worse, then it uploads much quicker. But as long as you can see the actual scripting, then that's all that matters. Right, so I'm going to click the tool. I'm going to click activate, and you see that it works. So it makes the torso transparent, even though I've used the local script and I've got the player from local player. Okay, so now you can see that player is exact, exactly the same as getting the player from the character, except we've just done it in one line, and it's much easier to use a local script. Okay, so whenever you need a script that only needs to be inside the character or the player GUI, then use a local script. They're better, they're faster, they're just, you know, you can do more with it. Okay, so that's how to do that. Um, about the camera function, it's basically just game.workspace.currentCamera, and that's how to get the camera off, um, of the player, and then you can start playing with playing around with the camera but I'm going to do a tutorial on camera and manipulation soon so don't worry about that right so that's all that you need to know just the player and how local scripts work next tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to get the mouse of a player so you can maybe play around with the mouse so when you click the mouse somewhere uh, even if you're not using a tool then it will do something uh, uh, how to get the coordinates of the mouse and things like that really okay so that's what I'll do next tutorial if you've got any questions just uh, before you post questions on the comments make sure you test test the question first so say you have a question like um, how do I set a variable to 5 or something like that <laughs> just uh, that's a simple but so, so you had a question like that you'd Go to studio, test it first, um, try, you know, practice it first, and then if you still can't do it, then ask the question, okay? Don't just ask questions without practicing something first. And also, don't ask questions like, uh, post a bit of code in the comments and then say, will this work? Well, I won't be able to answer if it will work unless you've tested it, okay? So, test it first. Um, if there's an error or if it doesn't work, paste the output from the error um, into the comment uh, as l with the code as well, and then I'll be able to answer the question better, okay, once you've tested it. So testing is really important. Just make sure you keep testing. Right, so I will see you in the next tutorial then.